You know what deal? That's messed up. He's got a job and shit, bro. Alright, let me pull up my computer so I can do some homework, but this is about to be, um, a hot set. Hopefully your majesty pops off. You never know. Gotta make so, so many, like, Halloween references this week. If he hits, like, um, like, Gordo, like, down smash or something like that, that's gonna be the Midas touch. Alright, we got Gordo's coming out of the back. Why have been trying to keep up this wall going? Making sure that, um, Steve can't really get those blocks for free right now. Getting a little pressure on, but... Wyvin with the early stop from the missed V reverse stock. <laughs> the little pop off of the day, you cheeky bastard. More shield pressure coming out here from Zolje. Ooh, gonna take some quick 55%, almost into a kill. I know, he's he's pretty much like a, a custom combo dummy. I mean, I, I mean, it's like, to be fair though, like, I don't know, like, Steve, like, to be honest, like, Steve, Alex, can, like, just do, like, whatever. And look at the spacing from Wyvern over here. I mean, what do you think? You think Steve uh, Steve kills Wyvern in the next interaction? Uh huh. as a player, just knows how to like survive for a really long time. It's just super hard just to kill. But um, now we see um, Slajje out with the. Um, you see them out with the um the gold, which I think is actually a really good play because you know it, it, his move, like Steve's move, uh, Alex's move Ooh. is still gonna kill, but uh, Wyvern gets a very nice uh, back air. That back air killed pretty early. Um, we're not gonna see a kill with the four though. So, uh, yeah, Wyvern well, really making use of all that momentum he got from the early game. I feel like Zolja's just had to swing in really unfortunate positions to try to get this game back in his hands, but. Wyvin's just not giving it to him. Yeah, oh Still at God, three that's... stocks, you were right. Wyvin wow. just has like a unique way of yeah. holding on to stocks here. I think like he's he's like being pretty good about like approaching with his Oh, oh his unlucky. Gordo, I think I think Slaji wanted the uh the the, sword, the 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 pickaxe but got the sword instead. Oh with uh like the short hop? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, interesting, Zolje going for a very strange lead trap, but he gets a forward smash here, still got a lot of work to do, but we know if any character can get it done from this percent, it's Steve, and what a down yeah. smash. I like how um, Wyvin's been adapting to the blocks so well, he's just been using the uh, the blocks to... Oh, oh! There's a Steve jab. Yeah, he was using uh, Steve's own blocks against them. Yeah? Usually, like, players, they just try to break the blocks, but, you know, it's nice to see... Oh, wait! Yeah, I think that's yeah. gonna be it! Oh, oh no! Beautiful DF from yeah, Zolje here. Well, I've been using those jumps to maximum effect to try to get over this like air pressure. Wow, I really liked what Slow J wanted to oh! oh! I did not know that's how that works. I, I didn't know either. I thought that was gonna go barreling at Steve right in the I face. Feel like that will kill at like, like 30. I don't know. Oh yeah, Alex would have lost three stocks for that shit. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh! oh! That oh, Slow J making something happen right now. 144 with rage. Oh, Ooh, and oh, great spacing no, from, uh, oh, from Wyvern. You know, I feel like Slow J would have survived if, if if the block just stood just stayed just for a little longer. Actually, it would have they would have survived, but the block disappeared just as they got hit by the back here. Why did takes game one? Why did takes game one over Slow J? Uh, now we're going to see a different uh, shift in the scenery. Now we got um, we got a uh, we got a change in scenery. We got a final destination going on. Final destination. Yeah, now, this is more is interesting. I, I mean, it's like you know, I can see, I can see, because you know, you have to, you don't have to deal with the platforms. Uh, a lot harder to maneuver around. It's a lot easier for Steve, uh, Alex to use blocks and stuff. But I also feel that uh, the FD makes it really harder to avoid lots of uh, Gordo ledge traps, and I think that's what TDD really wants to go for. Like, he, he, he's sort of uh, 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 Gordo the character. That's like his <laughs> best move, so it's like... You know, yeah, it's pretty good. And I like how Wyvern's being kind of selective in where he uses Gordo, but the threat is always there. Yeah. Uh, he's been finding a lot of these kills with these spacing traps between Gordo and back air, and I feel like yeah. that's been putting Ooh, in so much yeah. mileage for him. It's been so difficult for Zolder to close out stocks earlier than Wyvern. Yeah. But, I mean, we're seeing a much better start of the game this time around. Oh, and there we see it again, there. yeah. Wow, makes me eat my words. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, I'm loving the, like, this full hop, like, double jump spacing traps from Wyvern. I feel like he's he's baiting him out by whiffing these aerials in the air, but he's always ready to, to like, go back out and, like, get that whiff punish from, 
<laughs> from Alex. Oh, oh, that could have been huge, but yeah. again, oh, difficult. That a, yeah. yeah, that was a very good play on Solzhi's uh, part. Uh, opting to go for the um, uh, the ledge grab right here. Just to the stage that it's another back here read and starts off in a now we see a same situation that happened in game one where um, Wyvern is in the lead, uh, three stocks to Zloj's one. So, yeah, Steve difficult gap to, to close out, especially against a character that can live so long. And it looks like Zloj really hasn't found those zero to that, so that, you know, kind of X factor in this matchup that's really going to let him yeah. make this kind of comeback. He's going to have to find something very, very different from what he's been doing this entire, like, two stocks to really make this game work. Okay, now we do see, we see a similar strategy being used again. Uh, Oh. oh wait no, that's the Look at his angle, uh Wyvin, maybe getting a little oh, cheeky. Oh, gets the read with the uh down B and Wyvin takes uh game two with the clean three stock. Uh, um, your Majesty, that was simply too clean. Very good play on uh your Majesty's part. That was, that was actually the Midas touch right there, bro.